What if you could become a thought leader in an area you're passionate about? What would your life be like if you became a connector? Imagine if people wanted to meet and work with you. What if you could make a living sharing your passion? You see, all great people in history had something inside themselves that they fine-tuned to become great. What these people all have in common is their personal toolbox, which they filled with tools to create their world. Inside every one of you, there's a passion waiting to be realized. There's something great inside of you, a passion that you can use to create a world if you fill it with your tools. My name is Glenn, and I lead a community of perfume lovers from all around the world. We are connected because of a shared love of perfume, and we treat each other with respect and empathy. It was this connection that created the opportunity for me to meet the late Uban King in 2019 as he visited the U.S. You see, Mr. King was also a perfume lover. I have been invited to write articles for esteemed perfume blogs. I have given talks at international trade shows for artistic perfumery. Companies now consult me for fragrance development, and I'm a trusted voice in the fragrance community. My story didn't start so fragrant. I grew up on a farm on the tiny island of Trinidad and Tobago. From an early age, I was taught the importance of work ethic from my dad. We would wake up at 5 a.m. to work the land before the sun came up. You see, my dad didn't like working in the sun, so we would work the land first, and then we would go into the farm to take care of our animals. My fascination with scent developed as a kid, and I started wearing my dad's perfume from a very early age. One day he said to me, Son, I may not always look good, but I will always smell good. By the time I was 17, my family and I moved to the, to the United States and I got my first job. One of the first things I ever bought myself was perfume. Shortly after, I joined the military and I lived in countries and military bases all around the world, each time buying perfumes to connect me with memories to those locations. Along the way, I discovered niche perfumes, and things changed forever. I started sharing photos online and building a small following. One day, a friend said to me, she said, Glenn, you've got a few followers, but you're not connecting to your audience. Those words would change my life because it gave me a curiosity to connect with my followers and ultimately led to me discovering the tools for my toolkit. So how did a kid from a tiny island become a prominent figure in the fragrance community? I'll share with you. One of the first tools I discovered was a book called Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary V, as he's often called, is a thought leader on online entrepreneurship. I bought his book and I devoured its contents. By the time I was done with that book, I was a changed man. You see, Gary V taught me the importance of creating content of value to an audience and how to build a connection with them while remaining authentic. He taught me how to be grateful to the few people that value what you have to share and how to be empathetic to their needs. Above all, he made me obsessed with the process of connecting to my audience. The next tool I discovered is a book called The Go-Giver by Bob Berg. It revolutionized the way I thought about and interacted with people. In his book, 
I learned that the best way to succeed is to not try and take everything from life for yourself, but to share it with others. His five laws of stratospheric success became my blueprint for becoming an effective leader in my community. The first law is the law of value. It says that your true worth is determined by how much you give in value than you take in payment. His second law is the law of compensation, which states that your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. The third law is the law of influence, and it says that your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. The fourth law is the law of authenticity. The most valuable gift you have to offer is yourself. The fifth law is the law of receptivity. The key to effective giving is to stay open to receiving. The next tool in my toolkit came from Phil Knight, the founder of Nike, and he wrote a book called Shoe Dog. It is a story of how he followed his vision through continuous adversity, financial uncertainty, and self-doubt. You see, Phil was passionate about running, and he wanted to solve a problem of offering better shoes to runners. He started importing shoes from Japan and selling them out of his trunk. But facing problems with shipments and difficulty in creating new designs, he decided to fund his own company. The key lessons I learned in Shoe Dog is that it takes time to build something great. You have to be enthusiastic about what you're talking about and surround yourself with others that are enthusiastic about that thing. Focus on the things that you can control and take bold chances. I want you to think about what it is you're passionate about. What it is that keeps you up late at night. What is the thing you can't wait to get back to? The thing that you wouldn't mind doing for the rest of your life if you had to. They say it's not really work if you're having fun. Find the most influential person in that area and tap into what it is they have to share so you can build your toolbox. You see, the early lessons on work ethic taught by my dad ensured my success by giving me the drive to stay consistent. The obsession to connect with my audience, instilled by Gary Vaynerchuk, has given me the creative edge to become a game changer in the fragrance space. My relationship first approach from the go-giver has helped me form personal connections with perfume lovers, perfumers, and perfume brands worldwide. The extreme patience modeled by Nike's founder, Phil Knight, in Shoe Dog has taught me to believe in myself. All these tools have been instrumental in leading to this moment, which I hope will inspire you to create your world. In closing, I wish to leave you with a quote by Gary Vaynerchuk. Self-awareness is being aware of what it is you have to offer, then acting according to that information. Be great at figuring out what you're great at and then run off that. Fill that toolbox. Use those tools to create your world. Thank you.